Hi everybody, welcome to Euro Channel. This is a vital message for anyone considering penal augmentation on the occasion of a recent case I encountered in my office. If you leave this video now, it's your choice, but don't come crying to me later and pretend I didn't warn you. My name is Stefan Bundrock, I'm a board certified urologist and sexologist, and in this video, I will provide crucial information about a condition known as paraffinoma. I think most of you know Vaseline. It has been used for ages in skincare products. Vaseline is made from petroleum and contains paraffin wax and mineral oils. Along with paraffin, it is the by far mostly used substance for penile girth augmentation in the, let's call it the backyard garage clinic because lay people without any medical training are offering this dangerous procedure in several countries around the world. Paraffin was discovered in 1830 by Karl von Reichenbach and as early as in 1899, Austrian surgeon Robert Gazzuni was the first to describe the injection of substances like that into the penis for cosmetic reasons. You see, the problem is, that the body wants to get rid of the paraffin and starts to fight against it. When paraffin is injected into the body, it triggers a response. The body, recognizing it as an intruder, initiates an inflammatory process. This involves the mobilization of immune cells, such as cytokines and monocytes, proteins attached to the foreign material, regulating the attachment of inflammatory cells and coordinating their interactions. Macrophages converge at the site to destroy the foreign substance. Unfortunately, this process alters the tissue, causing it to become lumpy and hard, ultimately leading to penile disfigurement. This condition is referred to as lipogranuloma or paraffinoma. Because of these severe side effects, paraffin injections into the body were soon abandoned again. I mean, all of this happened over 100 years ago, but somehow the method survived, performed by lay people in dubious places under hair rising conditions. I can't show you pictures due to YouTube community guidelines, but I will link a scientific article in the description. The grave issue lies in the body's attempt to eliminate the paraffin, resulting in inflammation. This inflammation can lead to chronic penile skin issues and an inflammatory response from local lymph nodes. In severe cases, it can even lead to fever, sepsis, and, tragically, death. These side effects often manifest years after the initial injection. Treating paraffinoma typically involves advanced plastic surgery. Affected skin must be removed and the penis reconstructed. The specific procedure varies depending on the individual case. Sometimes, skin from donor sites, such as the inner thigh, can be used. In other cases, a skin flap from the scrotum may be necessary. It's crucial to seek specialized care in these situations. In the scientific literature, paraffinoma has not been reported very often, but it is estimated that the number of unreported cases is high because embarrassment and expensive reconstructive surgery prevent people from seeking help. Here's a map of the world highlighting the regions with reported cases. The global hotspots are Korea with nearly 32%, Bulgaria with 20% and Hungary with 14%. Hope that was helpful and once again, don't be stupid and inject Vaseline or paraffin into your penis. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.